All right, we've been joined by head of corporate communications at the Ghana Water Company, uh, Stanley Mate, who is here with us in the studio right now for some discussions on the latest increment. Uh, thank you, Stanley, for your time. So I have heard uh, that you are quite dissatisfied with the um, amount that's been raised. Um, why so? Yeah, um, we have requested for a 57% increase um, only to be given 8.01%, um, uh, which is um, very inadequate for to, to help us or to sustain our patients. So they are regulators. There's nothing much that we can do. We'll keep engaging them to see how best. Did you say 57%? Um, yes. That, that, that was sounds quite it. outrageous. Yes, because... Um, one, they, they themselves have talked about the uh, CD depreciation against the dollar, and you know that uh, a major component for the treatment of water is uh, the chemicals that we use. Um, now, apart from the fact that we buy the chemicals in, in foreign exchange, um, which is going high, the cost itself um, at the supplier and is also increasing. Apart from that, we have had to use more of the chemicals than hitherto we were using as a result of the uh, pollution of our, our river bodies. So um, that one alone um, is causing a, a major increase. Now, you also realize that there's an increase in energy and 44% of our um, um, expenditure is uh, with energy. So 44% alone takes energy. Now how about chemicals and overheads, logistics and all that? There's been cost of fuel, the, the cost of fuel has been rising over the past um, a few years, you know. And so it all affects our patients because uh, those are the components to which we use in our patients. But is it also a f not also a fact that customers will eventually end up paying more because of the levy on the uh, desalination project in Teshi? You no, know, that's just a restoration of the original tariff. Mm. Okay, so we were given some tariff, we were paying, and the diesel had a component in that tariff. Now, because you are set a deep the diesel down for a renegotiation, the PLC felt that, okay, if the diesel is not in operation, then let's get that component off um, the tariff. And then, because we had collected that tariff over a period of time, they requested that we um, refund part of um, that, amount or that amount to customers. That brought about the 10.8% um, um, uh, deduction mm. or decrease in the tariff in February. Mm. Now, we have put back into operation the diesel. And so, it makes sense for us to, uh, for them to restore um, um, back the original type. Mm. So the that PURC is itself, uh, in its statement, ahead of the announcement, said he had engaged with uh, all of the major stakeholders, including yourself. Exactly. Uh, how come your arguments could not be sustained? Yes, we did our best, but you know they also have taken into consideration the social impact. Now, the ability to pay by the government and the PLC does not only stand for the utility, but both. Uh, the utility and um, consumers. So, in effect, they have had to take all those things, and the resultant um, is what we have now. Mm. But it's it's been so over over a very long period, and, you know, um, since the inception of um, the period the regulatory body, uh, we've always had less than we have requested for, and so um, it's impacted negatively on the utility. But for prudent management, um, the the GWC, I'm sure, may have collapsed by now, but we have worked very well, steadily. We have done all we could to improve on our operations till now. Now, our only consolation is the fact that we are state owned, and when there's any eventuality or when we are stuck somewhere, mm. we can only fall on government. On the state. Yeah, but it's, it's, it would have been better for government, for the people of Ghana, for the utility, um, the GWCL, mm. if we have weaned ourselves from uh, from government so that we can invest more. And, and by so, uh, you mean know, that consumers being been allowed to pay realistic? Exactly, because we've never had cost-reflective tariffs. Mm. I mean, it's always been like that. You request for a certain percentage and you are given lower. And mm. uh, it puts a lot of stress. The, the rains have uh, set in again. Too. It's become almost an annual ritual that during these times, we often have the spillage of the Bagri Dam as well as a Wager Dam. Um, are we to expect any of these in the coming days? Yes, um, we, we started uh, spilling um, the Wager Dam a month ago. Uh, we had announced to the general public mm and we've been managing the spillage. And so we hope that so far, we haven't had any eventuality yet. Mm. We haven't had any, um, any, any, any challenges yet. We are hoping that 
uh, it will still continue like that. But we are still measuring the rate of inflows as to um, the rate of outflows, so that we need to have that, that balance at least. The maximum operating level is 47. Mm. So if you are able to get to 47 and below, then we can safeguard the integrity of the dam. So that's exactly what we are doing. So we are taking also into cognizance the fact that there are human beings and properties downstream. Mm. So we are managing the flow, but we are also taking into um, cognizance the, the uh, integrity of the dam. So All we right. need to maintain that and we need to uh, do safeguard well to safeguard lives and lives lives well. Lives Thank you very much. Uh, Stanley yeah. Mate is the uh, public affairs manager of the Ghana Water Company.